Hello guys, I am back and here I am setting up my golf bag for the expert tournament hole number one of the winter games. And the ball that I believe I'm going to be going with is going to be a kingmaker as I definitely want that wind resistance and be able to give myself a chance to get over towards the green the best as possible. You still have a lot of side spin. You still have a lot of that distance that you need, the extra distance because it's a little into the wind. And you see how I have my bag set up otherwise. Um, pretty standard bag. Really nothing else that should be in play. So without much further ado, let's try to go match for hole number one and get this underway. Uh, if you've looked at my tournament guides, I have been using a slice method for holes uh, for rookie and pro division. Now, what I'm thinking is uh, the higher up you get, you know, towards these divisions, the, ch the more chance that you don't need to go at it with that method for these last few tours. Now I am going to put about full hook on this and play it, you know, seven or eight rings off of that rough. And I'm gonna take off just ever so slightly a little bit of distance that I don't think I'm going to need. So you're gonna see me just kind of go like this and just kind of curl it ever so gracefully. And let's see if I can't get this going towards the hole here. Just ever so slightly to the left, which is fine. You know, we're pin, hole to the, pin high here to the left, and that's one of the reasons that uh, you put on a Kingmaker. And as you can see, you know, I can just kind of scale back um, the power a little bit. Um, you know, I wasn't recording yesterday. When I woke up, I just kind of started playing. I was like, "What? I was supposed to stream. I was supposed to stream this today, and I just forgot." So I apologize for not getting these videos. But as you can see, that's kind of a good approach. Um, you don't need a lot of power, so you you can see that this isn't going to be more about the power. It's going to be more about the curl. And one of the reasons that I don't want you to really go straight there is because you see how he's coming up short. Um, you really want to get a little bit extra distance and plus that extra curl puts on extra distance. So going about it that way is going to give you a nice chance there. And one of the things that I always do is I'll try to size the, the shot up. You know, that's about half power right there. And then if I cut it in half, I'm going to be just a little bit inside half power. So, you know, that's going to be right around three per ring or so. So here you're going to see me go right about three rings for the adjustment here. And let's see if I can't just pop this one in real quick. And there you have it. Eagle on hole one. Uh, hopefully you guys can also start off this way. Like I said, you see using that curl method, it gives you... You know, especially if you have a weak driver, I only have an Opac 4, which doesn't have a ton of distance. But it just kind of goes to show you that, uh, you know, I can even take off just a, a little bit more distance that I might do tomorrow. And just kind of start my line just a little bit more right. So focus on my land zone, focus on the way that I aimed, and try to come in a little bit. And... Like I said, if you have a POC 4 or whatever, whatever you're using, even if you're using an extra mile, it's going to be more about my landmark area that I just used there. So if you can kind of copy the way that I aim, well, you know, I don't recommend doing it with extra mile because you won't be able to curl that much. But you can get away with it with Thor, for example. Um, you can see that. Uh, let me go look at power numbers for you guys. Just so you can kind of see what's going on in terms of my bag. 
let's just take a look at extra mile so extra mile doesn't have the top spin and it doesn't have the curls so you're not going to be able to get it to the hole there's no way there's no way unless you get it to an eight which mine's on the way of getting to but i still won't hit it there anyway even when it is um I know I can get quarterback there with a hook shot. It would just need to be a curl shot. You know, full hook, curl. I'm sure I can get that there. I didn't even go to try and figure it out. So, I mean, I'm assuming if you're doing expert pro expert tournament, you have Apocalypse anyway. If you don't, you should probably, you know, back down, to be honest with you. It, you're kind of in the, the wrong division. If, uh, you know, if you can't get that first eagle there by just easily being right by the green, that's kind of a decision that you guys should be making to do pro. Um, because everybody in the top 10 is going to have, you know, expert the first hole in. So... Use that for your decision making and uh, good luck with your guys' tournament. I'll be posting this video up right now and you should have a complete guide with this video attached. And like I said, you know, even tomorrow for me, I'm going to make an adjustment on the way that I kind of played it a little bit because I was just kind of winging it today. I've been putting out so many guides for you guys that you know I don't have enough time to have everything dialed in quite yet myself so you know I'm still creating shots and still thinking about the way that I want to do things and all that so like I said though uh, I think you saw me do this and oh I haven't even put up a master's guide yet I forgot to record that yesterday too so I have to still do that today but that's the way that I've been playing it in master yesterday as well is I was like well this wind's so strong you probably don't even need to hook it and you know it worked out fine so like you can see you know a POC 5 spin is enough to get it pot or a POC 4 spin is enough to get it to the hole pin high so that's all you need so good luck out there and be on the lookout for the rest of my future guides and future videos and keep me updated with your scores